This odd-looking creature is known as the mystery snail. It is a freshwater species that is native to South America, Central America, the West Indies, and the southeastern United States. They typically inhabit a wide range of freshwater ecosystems, ranging from swamps and ponds to ditches, rivers, and lakes. However, they prefer slow-moving water. While mystery snails are tolerant of a wide range of aquatic conditions, they are uniquely suited to live in water that has a very low concentration of dissolved oxygen. They have two special adaptations that make living in oxygen-poor water possible. While most snails only have gills, the mystery snail has both lungs and gills. These lungs enable the snail to take in oxygen from above the surface of the water. The second adaptation is known as a breathing siphon. The siphon is used to take in oxygen from the surface and deliver it to the lungs, while still allowing the snail to remain submerged. The ability to remain submerged while taking in air from the surface helps the snails to avoid predation by snail-eating birds as well as other terrestrial predators. Here we can see the breathing siphon being extended to the surface of the water. Although the breathing siphon resembles a tube, it is actually a fold of skin. The muscles in this fold contract to form a flexible tube-like structure which can then be elongated until it reaches the surface of the water. Once the breathing siphon penetrates the water's surface, you can see the snail take several quick breaths. Here is another view from the ventral surface of the snail. This view gives a clearer picture of the breathing contractions as the snail takes in oxygen from the surface. Despite their heavy shell and awkward appearance, mystery snails can be very light on their feet. In fact, they seem to have complete control over their buoyancy because they use their lungs like a ballast in order to float or sink at will. Here we see one taking in air from the surface with its siphon, causing it to float. The ability to control their buoyancy allows the mystery snail to remain suspended in the water using little to no energy. This is known as neutral buoyancy. They also have the ability to effortlessly glide in mid-water from one side of an aquarium to the other using their body like a sail. Air can also be released and replaced with water in order to allow the snail to drop quickly from any perch should danger arise. While not unique to mystery snails, they also possess a shell door known as an operculum. Here the operculum is clearly visible but not completely sealed. If the snail is under attack, it can retract all of its body parts and close this shell door in order to protect itself. If a mystery snail's habitat begins to dry out during periods of drought, the operculum can be sealed shut to retain moisture. While the snail is moving about, the operculum is tucked under the rear portion of the snail where the shell fits nicely into its concave structure. One of the most prominent features of a mystery snail is its tentacles. They have four, and the largest of the two are known as cephalic tentacles.
These larger tentacles are used to help the snail get a sense of its surroundings. They are also an early warning system against potential danger. There are also two smaller tentacles closer to the mouth. These are known as labial tentacles, and they are used to help the snail locate food. Just behind the cephalic tentacles on two stalks you will find the snail's eyes. Their vision is very weak and used only to sense differences between light and dark. A mystery snail's most important sensory function is their sense of smell. Scent is used to find members of their own species with which to mate. It is also used to help the snail locate food. Next we come to one of the more bizarre features of the mystery snail, its mouth. Their mouths are very weak and contain a rasping tongue known as a radula. The radula is used to tear off small pieces of soft vegetation. The snail seen here is chewing at a spinach leaf. The leaf was microwaved for three minutes so that it was tender enough for the snail to eat. Mystery snails are opportunistic feeders and will eat just about anything, but they prefer soft and easily digestible vegetation. They rarely eat healthy aquarium plants. However, dead and decaying vegetation is readily consumed. A high calcium diet is important to help the snails maintain a healthy shell. Furthermore, anything containing copper should be avoided because it is very toxic to all snails. Here is a close-up view of a snail's mouth and the comb-like radula used for tearing apart its food. Next we come to the subject of reproduction. Most snails are hermaphrodites. Mystery snails, however, are gonochoristic, meaning that there are both males and females in the population. In this clip we see a male on the right mating with a female on the left. Here we can see the male's penis sheath being removed and then reinserted into the female. The sheath houses the penis which is small and thread-like. As the penis sheath is reinserted we can see small bits of feces being forced out of the cavity that is used for both defecation as well as reproduction. There are several methods for determining the sex of your snails, but they are beyond the scope of this video. The easiest way is to see one laying eggs. That would be the female. The female leaves the safety of the water and lays her eggs above the water line. This behavior is very unique among aquatic snails and probably reduces predation of the eggs. It is important to make sure that any tank containing mystery snails is covered completely and that the water level has been lowered by three or four inches to allow room for surface breathing and egg laying. In this close-up view, we can see the eggs being propelled along a narrow channel formed by a fold of skin. A large female can lay up to 100 eggs in a clutch.
The eggs will hatch in two to four weeks, depending on the temperature. The eggs will darken and small snails will be visible a few days prior to hatching. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to help my efforts, please remember to hit the like button, share the video with friends, and subscribe to this channel.